Let me see what the... Uh... Wow, Black traded 24-16. I'm assuming White submitted the game. Um, three minute on chess.com. We both got kind of got into time trouble by the end. Can I be proud of this game or is he just terrible? So this was a big upset. A 1500 who submitted the game beat a 2416. So my question is, how does a 1500 play a 2416 three minute on chess.com? How do they get paired? You don't see a lot of 1550s playing 2400s. Like I'll do that. I'll play 1500s. This 1500 beat a 2400, but this is a chess.com 1500. So he's probably 3000 strength. Oh, it's an arena tournament. That's how they got paired. Okay, that makes sense. So white is Miguelito KK and black is Jackster the Pro. Okay, but he's... Not so much of a pro if he's losing to 1500s. He is a candidate master, which is sort of embarrassing for me because his rating is close to mine. I'm a grandmaster, you know, in theory. In practice, you know, not, 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 not true. Is it an unrated? It was in an arena tournament. I can't tell if it's rated or not. Anyway, it's the biggest upset in chess history. Let's have a look. Okay, Black played the Scandi. Very insulting to White. Okay, so far good. Bishop c4, that's not a move a grandmaster would play. d4 is the most common move by far. Sometimes white wants to play c4 and kick the knight out. So bishop c4 isn't really a good move in this particular position. Black played knight c6. That's not great either, but it's okay. Knight c3. I would definitely take the bishop and double white's pawns. I wouldn't even think of another move. But black played knight b6. Okay, that's okay. That's legal. Bishop b5, bishop d7. These moves are good. Castles, g6. These, these are good moves. d4. You know, white's slightly better. Not much. Castles, bishop b3. Now, it's a three-minute game, so probably the level of play is going to go down once they have like 30 seconds left. Knight b4 is okay. I wouldn't play knight b4, but it's all right. He wants to put his knight on d5. Bishop e2. I wouldn't play bishop e2. If I retreated my bishop, which I wouldn't do, I'd probably play bishop f1. Just because I played rook e1, I don't want my rook blocked by both bishops. Bishop f5 threatening the c2 pawn. Rook c1 forced. Knight d5. You know, white's very slightly better. Not much. Bishop g5 is good. You don't want to lose your bishop. Put it in h. Knight f4. That's why I would have played bishop f1 earlier. So here I'd play bishop f1 or bishop c4. White played c3. Rook e8. If I was black, I would definitely get rid of the two bishops. Rook e8, bishop g3, forcing him to take. And this position's about equal. Nobody's made any blunders or big mistakes yet. Okay, queen b4 is good. E6 is very risky because you're giving this pawn away and the bishop defends B8, so there's no rook B8. So the engine doesn't like the move E6. It wants black to not lose his B pawn. So like B5 would be a move that equalizes. Positionally, B5 is pretty good too. It stops C4, then you can play A5, and you can gain some space on the queen side. So E6 I don't like. Bishop E5, white could just take this pawn and white's better. Bishop e5, now it's back to equal. Queen takes a2, showing no fear. The engine doesn't like the queen on a2. But in a blitz game, I'd probably play queen takes a2 also, because you know, it's a pawn. Takes, takes, knight e5. The engine likes white a lot, but if I was playing a blitz game, I would be happy to have black, because I'm a pawn up. However, I would then realize my bishop is almost trapped, because I played e6. So g4 is like a serious threat. Okay, so black saw g4 and played g5, making sure he doesn't lose his bishop. Now white should play queen takes b7, threatening queen takes f7, and the c6 pawn is weak. After queen takes b7, white has a winning advantage, according to the engine. But he played c4, trying to trap the queen. White's still better. 
Queen a6, saving the queen and saving the b-pawn. Very good. Knight d7 is good. White wants to play queen d6 to e5 or knight c5. He's got a couple options. Rook d8. Now the queen's trapped, so white can play rook a1, which I didn't notice. And white did notice. That's why white played knight d7. So I wonder what black can do in this position to stop rook a1. It says nothing. It says rook a d, it's the best move. Okay, now it wants black to do what black did. Um, if I was black and I was playing a blitz game, I would definitely play c5. But the engine hates the move c5. That's what I would play if I was playing a blitz game because then my queen has c6. Now it says queen takes, queen here, queen e5 check, black resigns. So it wants to give the queen away with queen takes rook and rook takes. And now it says black has drawing chances. Although, obviously, it wants to take this pawn, which is... It's hard not to take that pawn, but white didn't. He played queen c3. Okay, now the position is about equal. Rook a d8. Rook d1. King g8, stopping d5 check, which wasn't really a threat anyway. And I would expect a 2400 to beat a 1500 with either color here. Okay, c5. c5 is a mistake because of d5. d5 was played. e takes d5. Takes. White should play queen f6 here, threatening the bishop and the pawn. Um, and the idea is, it's a funny idea. After bishop g6 takes, if black takes, white has queen takes rook winning. This is a winning endgame for white. This is very similar, this endgame with the material and pawn structure, except black had a knight, not a bishop, to the game played today between Gukesh and Akobian. It was like the same pawns, and black had a knight, and black ended up losing. But it was pretty similar to this pawn structure-wise. 3-3, three to 3-1. Three, three to one. Okay, so uh, white played CD, and this position should be a draw. Okay, rook d1 is okay. And this is just a drawn position. Okay, and king h7 is a funny blunder, then, then it's not a draw. Okay, so in this position, white saw queen takes h6, and since white had probably, I'm sorry, black saw queen takes, and probably black had very little time on his clock and forgot about queen takes bishop. And so he made like the worst move on the board. But if black plays the normal move, bishop g6, then this should just be a draw. Material's about even, and white can never get a pass pawn, and so forth. Okay, so king h7, that's pretty bad. Okay, and, and, and black is rated 2416. This explains why players like Nakamura and Naroditsky and Carlson are rated 3200, 3300, and Faruja, and this guy's 2416, because they're 800 points better than him, because he played king h7. That's, you know. What's funny is he's still a thousand points better than whoever you are. Whoever you are in the audience, you're probably a thousand points less than this guy. And this guy plays king h7, hanging all his pieces with check. So if you're going to lose to somebody who's 900 points lower than you, king h7 is the way to do it. That's how you do it. That'll, that'll guarantee it. Okay, so now black has nothing left. So... Playing for steal only by giving everything away. Okay, Black's in stalemate mode. He should play F3 every move. There we go. He's got to give everything away. Well, after Queen F1, he resigned instead, instead of playing for stalemate. Or his time ran out. This is a funny time to resign. You could resign earlier if you're not going to play for stalemate. Here we finally have like a stalemate set up. Like Black can't move anything but his king. So this isn't a good time to resign. He might have lost on time. Because if he was going to resign, he could have resigned after the queen takes bishop check. Not play for stalemate, and then when it's, you got, achieved it, then resign. But he probably could have been frustrated. Because he's playing somebody 900 points less. And black can't accuse white of cheating, because black played the move king h7. 
Okay, and we also can't accuse Black of cheating. God damn. Yeah, King H7, that's... Like, if you mouse slipped, it wouldn't be as bad as King H7. King H7 loses the most material of any legal move. I don't even think there's another legal move that loses that much material. Yeah, I think this is the worst legal move on the board. Yeah, that's not good. Right, no cheating going on. Both players didn't play the best moves a lot. And then Black played the worst move in chess history. That's reverse cheating. Instead of playing the best move, he found the worst legal move. And obviously, he saw queen takes and he forgot about queen takes bishop. So yeah, bishop g6 and Black is perfectly, it's a perfectly cromulent position. Yeah, you, you can't, I mean, king h7, that's, that's pretty bad. That's, you, you can't lose all your pieces like that. Black played fine after King H7. Yeah. Yeah, Cromulent. It's like, um, you know, like Embiggen. You know, because like the, the worst move, Embiggen's the smallest man. And that's a perfectly Cromulent sentence. Yeah, my coffee's about gone. Luckily, I have some Crystal Light Lemonade. Yeah, I mean, King H7, I... That's the worst move we're going to see today because you can't play a worse move. There's like 25 legal moves for black and he played number 25. He played the only one that guarantees a loss. I mean, after rook d6, queen takes, I'm pretty sure white would win. I'm not 100% sure. After king here, when white takes this, unless white loses on time, because I don't know what the time situation was, I'm 100% sure white's going to win. So that's a pretty bad move. His only hope was that he was playing on lead chess and his opponent's 1,500 lead chess. Okay, then maybe King H7, he can survive. The kind of things that are funnier, like if I want to make fun of a chess move, is after King H7, if like white plays G4. Like that's funny too. But white was, was less funny. White just took everything. And so forth. Wouldn't black be winning if white didn't have the queen? Y yes. If we take off white's queen? So like in this position, if white mouse slipped and went here, then white would lose. That's right. Then black could mouse slip and so forth. I meant to play queen f5, but my queen went here. No. I was going here to hit the clock on the right. Yeah. How is black 2400? That's his rating. If we look at your worst games, we won't understand why you're your rating either. You have to look at everybody's games to see what their rating is, not their worst game. Everybody's worst game, like for example, I saw a game that went D4, Knight F6, C4, and Black resigned. What do you think Black's rating was? It, it was Magnus. I mean, so even Magnus plays a bad game sometimes. Terrible. You can't go by the worst game. I'm new to chess and already learned the bong cloud opening. Well, that's too bad. I always lose. Well, if you play the bong cloud, yeah. The, the bong cloud is a joke opening. That's only used as a joke. It's not a real opening. 